Did we always send the smallest bloke in goal if the goalkeeper had gone? Because you had <laughs> two or three games ago. Yeah. But a clean sheet, I believe. Yeah, I went in goal three times. And uh, as I say, never let a goal in, which was... You didn't know that? Not my claim to, <laughs> claim to fame again. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, I remember my first game was a Blackpool away and Ozzy got injured and I went in goals. And uh, they were pumping everything into the box ball and I was trying to go above they had a big centre forward at the time, I forget his name, and uh, they were pumping these balls to him and I was going out trying to punch them, and, uh, but we survived, you know. And uh, as yeah, I said, it was just, as I say, it was something different because I like going in goals in training sometimes, you know, for a laugh, you know, shooting. Uh, and uh, So I was the obvious one to, to go in goal when we had these injuries. Um, and I remember one down here, actually, Man City. And Franny Lee, you know, Franny Lee had some shot on him. Franny Lee and he hit one from the edge of the box and it was flying in the top corner. And I just flung myself, just just like looking, looking at the ball and it just tipped it, and it tipped it over and the, the crowd went absolutely berserk. One for the cameras, eh? Oh, yeah, I was playing for the cameras again, yeah. But uh, yeah, it was, it was something that, uh, that they enjoyed for those few games I played. I mean, you had a. a th- Phenomenal scoring run the late 60s into the 70s and I think it was a 71 season, scored 30 goals and, and played for England in that season. That's right, yeah, I got uh, my England chance. I'd, I'd been in a lot of the squads but never got a, a, a game. And as I say, that, that, that season I, uh, I scored 30 goals from midfield which you know caught the eye of Alf Ramsey who was England manager at the time. And I played in the one, uh, I got picked against Wales at Wembley, it wasn't the best of games, it was a nil-nil bore and uh, but I can say, uh, you know, it's my, my only cap but I can honestly, it's only, you know, proud of it, got it at home and uh, I can say I played for my country, it was only the ones but uh, really proud of it. So, I mean I suppose the trouble with that game was you weren't asked to play the way that you had no. by then come to no. play for Albion. No, there was, there was eight new caps as well, all played, it was, a, it was a strange team, a lot of players didn't know each other, you know never played together before and uh, yeah I'd played for my club like the way I said earlier at that time I'd, I'd played in midfield foraging forward looking at and scoring going on runs and uh, and uh, Alf Sir Alf who I thought was brilliant fantastic manager absolutely marvellous uh, you know he he asked me to play as an out and out striker that, and like I said earlier I never enjoyed that I never enjoyed playing with me back to goal, uh, so never had the, you know it wasn't a great game for me, and, and unfortunately I never I never got a, uh, another cap. But uh, as I say, I got just to get the one and play for your country. It's, it's a great feeling, day. Back at uh, back at the ranch, things were going uh, quite so well just after that. We we had uh, Don Howe came in to try and change things around, and unfortunately we ended up losing our, our first division status. Yeah, that's right. The only time I got relegated in, in, in you know, in, in my career, it was a, it was an horrible feeling. Uh, Alan Ashman had uh, got got the sack in the summer. Uh, it shocked ev- shocked everybody. He, he you know uh, he was told when he was on his holidays abroad, going say by a, a foreign waiter in the hotel. <laughs> but uh, you know, but. I got, I got well with that Alan Ashman, I, you know, I was surprised at the time he got the sack, but I think the chairman at the time uh, said that he, he was fed up of going to Wembley and, and, and winning cups and he wanted, he wanted to do, you know, he wanted the league. But he got and, half of it right. Well, he got half of it right, yeah, but, uh, and yeah, it, it didn't work for Don, he just won the double with Arsenal, to be fair, you know, and he, and he came here playing a, a certain way. He'd played with Radford and Kennedy up front at Arsenal, two big lads up front, and they knocked everything to them. And he, I think he kind of tried to do that here, and, and he, he put me up front, which, uh, once again, I'm saying I didn't ever enjoy it uh, with Jeff. And Jeff had, had got his injuries at that time, and uh, Don brought a lot of young lads in, into the team. He got, a lot, he got rid of a lot of the experienced players, like Bobby Hope and Doug Fred and John Kenner. And too many youngsters, I think, at the time, and unfortunate, we we got relegated, and it was uh, it was an horrible time. I, you know, to get relegated, it was it's terrible. It, the feeling, you know, in the dressing room and amongst the players was was horrendous. It's mm. it's not a nice thing to happen. 
And that was probably, I, I guess, the lowest point in your career. Almost. Almost, yeah. almost a, a parting of the ways at that point. Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. And I nearly left the club, to be, to be honest. I nearly went to, to Crystal Palace. They'd come in and, and uh, I'd, you know, I mean, it, it wasn't straight away. It was, it, I mean, Don, Don was here, I think, was it two or four years, was it? That's right. And we, we you know, we never, we just couldn't get back. Uh, I'd finished, I'd finished top scorer again in five those seasons, but for some reason, uh, uh, you know, I nearly left. And I think it was, I think when Don got the, the, the sack, I think, I think the board put, the block on me going they said no he's not going um which i never really wanted to leave um and i'm glad i'm glad that happened because i had some fantastic years you know after that because i was uh, because i'd been playing out you know in, in a strange way and i've been out wasn't really enjoying my football although i was still as i say been top scorer but not not with a lot of goals um and uh I, I was I was the worst time of my career really you know morale wise I, I was very low uh, and then uh, Don got the sack and uh, the great Johnny Giles came in who was absolutely top world class player and he was playing at the same he was playing came as player manager and he just just lifted the place revived the whole club. Uh, you know, and, and it really was rock bottom at that time. You know, um, before he joined, but he, he came in and kind of with the same kind of set of players, really, except for he brought one or two of his players he knew, like Paddy Mulligan and Ray Tracy and Mick Martin. And that first season, we got promotion, which uh, was was an unbelievable feat for him, because at the Christmas time. I think we was next to bottom, Dave. You know, and I think if it had been today, I think Johnny might have lost his job the way they sack managers nowadays. Um, but they didn't. You know, they persevered with him, and he, he believed in a certain way of playing football, and he wouldn't change from it. And after just after Christmas, we got a couple of good results. I think one of them was Bristol City away. We got a good, one. and from then on, we just got better and better. And we had a fantastic second half to the season, steamrolled most teams and finished up getting promotion. And John got us back in and it was pleasing for me personally because I'd been, I'd been part of the team that had taken them down. And, you know, so to, to help them get back up again, it's kind of, oh, I've done, me, you know, I've redeemed myself. I've, mm. I've done the job. I've been there to help them get back up. And uh, the club, the club were revived, really. It, it was the fans loved, loved the, was li loving the way we were playing. Uh, John cha changed it really. He'd gone to a possession game, and it was it was a little bit slower. But when you're winning football matches, fans don't mind. Even and that's what and we got promotion and uh, and uh, he, he, he was there out on the pitch, John as well. And oh, what a what a player to play with. They absolutely fantastic. His vision. Every, I say he's, he's Probably the the best player I've played with, really, and a little bit to do with that as well is because he revi you know revitalised me as well, which uh, you know I have to thank him for. Because I, at that age, because I, I forget how old I was then, 28 something like that, and, and you think you know everything about the game, Dave, you know, and I do think, that. but when after John came, he taught me so many other things about my role and what to do. Uh, it, it was incredible. Made me made me a better player for those last you know years that I played. So uh, you know I thank him very much for that. Promotion came down to one final game, about 200 yards down the road from where you were born. Yeah, yeah. So I was born in the Oldham Hospital in Oldham, just down the road from from Boundary Park. And uh, yeah, I was going. Although I'd never lived in Oldham, I mean, that was the nearest hospital. Uh, but that was where I was born, and and. To, to go back there and on that great day and the support from the Albion supporters, oh, I've never seen anything like it that day. I mean, they, they just filled the ground. I don't know how they got in. I don't know how they, they got so many Albion fans in the ground. And it was just a mass of, of Albion supporters and the noise and the lads, you know, coming out, they were saying, 
we can't we can't let these people down today you know it's we've got to do it for them and then John is still that's what John said you know you've got you do it for them out there yourselves and your families but them out there as well and unfortunately enough I uh, I scored in the second half um, one of me probably my best goals I've scored I think and uh, that was enough to win the game and it, 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 once again it, it, it was as I say it, it, was, it was great because we, we were back in the big time.